In this video, we're going to look at how to use JavaScript's built-in Fetch API to make a GET and POST request to an Express API. To start, I've created a simple Express API with a GET and POST method, which returns a list of people back to the client, and also allows the client to add a new person to the list. If you want to learn how to create an Express API, I've included a link in the description. Let's start off by creating a GET request to the API and console log out the response. So to do this, we type fetch. Then the endpoint we want to look at, ours is localhost, or 3000. Now fetch actually returns a promise. So what we need to do is we need to convert this promise to JSON in order to read the data. So once you've done that, this will return it to the next then. And then here we can console log out the data we get from the API. So we should be returned three people. Yeah. Save that file and run. Fetch gets, we can see that we have our three people here. Now to post data to the API, uh, first of all, let's create the data we want to send. Data or eat. John Rodeo, which is 30, City of New York. So we're going to run a fetch again for local host 3000, but this time we're going to have include an object inside the fetch. And this will include a method, which is going to be post. And we also need to include headers, which will be JSON for content type. And then the body that we, body information we want to pass through. So what we're doing, stringifying this data here. So it all becomes a string. So once we've done that, the same as the get request, it's going to pass back a promise. We're going to convert that promise to JSON. And once we look at the data, it's returned. So if we now save that and unload fetch post, see we now have four people here. John Doe, our new got here. What we can do is we can run the get request again, and we can, it's also returning the Let's change John Doe and Mike for Smith. Save that and we're boost again. If you found this video useful, check out the video on screen now to learn more about JavaScript.